As we reach the end of 2022, I wanted to reflect on my journey with a game that has had a tremendous impact on my life. Osu has given me many joy and friendships and is the game where I bonded the most with my community. I owe a lot of the growth of my channel and the opportunities I've been given to this game. But before all of those videos, friendships, and goals, there was just a wee lad named Ivan. Young Ivan was a timid yet bold child. He was always very shy around strangers, but was always doing things to make them laugh. Drop the mice. Wow, wow. Drop the this trade combo fit perfectly into the increasingly popular dream job of being a YouTuber. To Ivan, the idea of doing his favorite hobby in front of an audience without actually seeing the audience seemed like an amazing dream job. While he did have this dream, it wasn't quite attainable yet as he had no equipment to really make any videos. As a 10 year old, all he could really do was ask his family to record him on their phones as he acted out the dream. Since this was the case, he just stuck to playing video games and pretending to record them. In the winter of 2013, 10-year-old Ivan was introduced to a game called Osu Stream by his brother. Osu Stream was a version of Osu designed for the iOS only, and as the young Ivan had yet to have his own computer, he didn't even know that the actual game was on PC. Regardless, Osu Stream was very unique from other mobile games at the time, so he did have fun playing. Sometime later, his uncle handed him an old PC for his birthday. Young Ivan thought this was MLG as fuck. He would play MapleStory religiously for a couple months until, somehow by fate, he stumbled upon two Osu videos that would lead him to download the game on his desktop. The time of this recording is June 2014. Ivan just pointed at his screen and said, when you see it. At this point in time, he was mouse only and played on this setup. About a month later, he would get his first 40 PP, and then he would barely play until 8 months later. Why? Despite his fast improvement, Ivan was just a kid who was curious. He was just stepping into PC gaming and there were so many other games that he wanted to try besides Osu. Who knows where he could have been had he kept playing consistently. Despite the hitches in his playtime however, Ivan continued to improve. Multiple times throughout the year, Ivan would switch setups. From desktop to laptop to desktop again, he would forget his password once in a while. So instead of doing the right thing and just trying to recover his account, he multi-accounted. Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Remember guys, don't multi-account! And with that, Kha'Zix was born. 2016 was a big Osu year for Kha'Zix. Inspired by the recent unban of Kukizi and Rise of Vaxay, Ivan did everything he could to be like his idols. He even pretended to do a live play on his grandpa's setup while playing nothing. He was addicted. Today I play some Os. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. He started his D-Rust with his first Osu upload and new top play on Aino Scenario. And then there was this, his other upload.
There aren't many replays in between now and 2017, so here are a collection of images that show what happened throughout this year. Guys, today I got the new prank. I got a new prank. I'm gonna steal a soccer ball. Fuck, fuck, no more pranking. Summer Break gave Kha'Zix a lot of time to improve. With the help of his newly bought XP pen, he was top 30k by the end of 2016. As a freshman in high school, young Ivan wanted to make a good impression on his classmates by first dropping video games, being sociable, and making new friends. He slowly stopped playing Osu and... Wait. Wait. Wait, Ivan. Wait. Like, I'm a guaya, huh? Wait. Wait. Is that relax? Oh, do not upload that to Instagram, you book. Kha'Zix's playtime peaked in January 2017. He continued to set many 200 PP scores, mainly improving in age. Sometime in this year, he randomly got gifted a supporter from someone's kindness, allowing him to finally Change his name from Kha'Zix to Carry You. Did you know that someone who was 11k at the time of this replay would be ranked 65k now? And in August 2017, Karyu hit 4 digit with Cookie Butter Choco Cookie. With the introduction to the new year came Karyu's first 300 on Hitori Goto. He also finally bought the OG cheater board that Vaxay and Shigatora used to use. Heavily inspired by Vaxay's single tapping ability, he submitted a lot of plays that year, mainly on farm maps and any DT farm map lower than 250 BPM. Part of the motivation for his improvement was also due to him finally saving up for a decent PC and switching to 144Hz. It was also Karyu's first live play on his now main channel where he got to 1v1 an Osu YouTuber by the name of Harley Rizumu by coincidence because they met on a Fortnite server. Wait, Fortnite? Karyu's playtime dropped throughout 2018 as he opted to focus on Fortnite gaming and videos instead. By the end of 2018, he had rusted so much on tablet that in between September 2018 and June 2019, he would only set one play. Because he had gotten used to mouse that entire time, he decided to drop the whole tablet thing and become a mouse player again. His motivation to play though did not start rising again until a certain video gave him an idea. When Osu skills translate into a CSGO comeback. This video had nothing to do with Osu, but Karyu thought, hey, what if I just made this same video but with Fortnite? And so came his first relevant Osu video. This is my aim after Osu. The video got over 400,000 views very quickly and had barely anything to do with Osu. But seeing the potential that Osu content could have, Karyu instantly wanted to become better again so he could show off his skills on stream. 
His comeback began with a 7-star TV size FC on Mouse. Fuck yes! Let's go! Oh my fucking cap! No a month cap later, with more motivation than ever, Karyu got his first 400 PP. Some of his tweets were also easily impressing his Fortnite audience, so 2019 was when he began sprinkling in some Osu content on the side. Yo! Finally in December, Karyu switched back to a Wacom tablet. It still did not fix his horrendous tapping posture though. Uh oh, it's 2020. The coronavirus is spreading. Time to play Osu. Karyu quickly climbed back to his original peak of 5k by abusing Hard Rock and AMAPs. 400s were starting to become very comfortable for him. Uh oh. Karyu got accused of cheating. Looks like there's convincingly blatant evidence to prove that he could cheat. We definitely need some concrete evidence to prove that he is not cheating. Let's ask one of our most reputable sources, Karyu. So, what do you think about Karyu? Um, yeah, honestly, I don't think Karyu is cheating. Well, I guess Karyu was not cheating. Getting accused of hacking was actually a nerve-wracking experience for Karyu. Despite knowing that he was fully innocent, a part of him was scared that he was actually doing something wrong. Ultimately, however, he was determined to prove his innocence, and after hours of grinding for scores on stream, he finally got two 400s. Fuck! Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. Let's fucking go! Oh. Let's go, fucking go, go bro. Task manager, look, hands are up, hands are up. Vino, you are right here. Yes, my hands are up, and I'm going into my task manager. He also made a video about the situation, which ended up being pretty successful. This was the second indicator to carry you that Osu content might just be something he could pull off. Oh my f I did it, I got 500. You did? Kiryu grew a lot in 2021, both in Osu and in content. He would upload extremely frequently on his second channel and even accidentally create a trend with short Osu videos. <laughs> He's holding a dead body! <laughs> How to improve your aim in Fortnite? Wait, is he an Osu player? Wait, he's cracked! Wait, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? This guy's legit. Space dreams are just too easy, bro. Yeah.
Fire 13! Two miss. 490. We're, we're done. We're past 2000. Get the fuck out of here. Are we 10k? I did it! It's over! It's, it's coming home! It's coming home! Woo! Let's fucking go! 10k PP! Kiryu's play count had nearly peaked again after 4 years, and as a result, he was able to push for 10k PP. As it was the end of his senior year in high school, he had a lot of time to stream and loved talking with his newfound community. That motivated him to really push himself to the limits, like streaming Osu until he hit rank 1500. Although all he needed was 30 ranks, he started to get extremely mind blocked around the 9th hour, and he was starting to lose his mind. It do pick up bro. The 20 seconds you're reading should be insane. Okay. If I uh, if that play wasn't a sight read, I think I could have FC'd it. Possibly. Despite this, he committed to the challenge and was oh able to God. get a score 12 hours in. Oh no! Please! Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! Although he beat his challenge, his hand never felt the same. As future Osu sessions came a tingling pain. Unable to strain his wrist for more than one to two hours, Karyu needed to find a way to regain his powers. A new playstyle that didn't cause his wrist harm. Something precise that used more of his arm. The streets were talking about Zudi, who was tearing up the game. Dropping score after score with her immaculate aim. Inspired with hope from Zu and SFA, he switched to full area and started to play. Hooray! Kiryu's next challenge was to flip the entire paradigm of how he played by trying out full area. Although his progress was slow at first and his rank started to decay, his hard work would soon show towards the end of the year. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's a good, that's a good start to the day. A couple of plays, one aim lab tournament, and it was, it was one so subathon later, Kiryu fun. finally got an SFA top play, a uh, three mod FC it, on Walk This Way. Actually, oh wait, I'm talking like NFSO. I think NFSO FC would be funny. Imagine. No way, no. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! What the heck? To end 2021, he FC'd I Thought I Was an Angel.
Kiryu's focus in early 2022 was tournaments. Coming from a competitive Fortnite background, he wanted to dip his toes into the competitive OSU scene. He started the beginning of the year playing four digit World Cup for the uh, USA and team. Kiryu, that's gonna be a surprise name to many. Kiryu. He did very good on all the aim picks, and he's definitely gonna carry the aim. It was one of his first tournaments, so he didn't perform too exceptionally, and the team placed 10th out of the 32 participating country. The lousy placement didn't discourage Kiryu, however. He had popped off on a few maps, and the adrenaline of competing gave him the drive to sign up for more tournaments. Bad misses. In March, he tried his luck in Big Make Tour 2, a draft tournament in which the winning team gets $1,200. Divided among 16 teammates. He was luckily drafted by 2D rankers who absolutely carried the shit out of him, but he still was able to play a very useful role on any map that required intensive aim. Oh my goodness. Okay, it looks like x are just okay. Well, I guess this one just goes to Team, team High. That's who and carry you with the S rank. Very nice. 98. Wait, 98? That's like so much better than everyone else. Yeah, that's absolutely incredible. Yeah. Yeah. This looks so... Well, okay. Very good. There you go. Nice score. 880k because of the act, and not even an S rank. <laughs> Karyu now has a badge. Hooray! Around the same time, Karyu booted up his Clips channel, where he would upload primarily any Osu plays and clips that he found were interesting. People started finding his Twitch through his clips, and just like a year ago, this built up motivation for Karyu to start farming again. Oh my fucking god! Oh, did you oh, see it? my first 600! Oh, Holy shit! shit. Oh, oh, my oh, 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 student inner senpai! Oh. I was gonna tell you, get Guys. a 600, I'll start inviting you to SFA teams, bro. Guys, this pillow pet got me my first 600. This shit piss low, bro! It's so piss low! I told you! <laughs> I just got an S, but, you know, I'll give you a D later. <laughs> we, we should go Please. on a date next Stop month. Stop turning to the camera! Stop! <laughs> Dude, you're scaring me! Should, Freaking we, me the fuck out! We Stop! We should, Stop! We Stop! Should go, we should go on a, on, a date, on a date next month on, like, July 27th. I think that'd be sick. <laughs> With that, Kiryu hit three digit, just in time for the round table. The round table was an invite only tournament that included some of the biggest names in Osu. As the lowest ranked there, Kiryu felt the pressure it's immensely. Kiryu, Kiryu, would you like to give a brief introduction on yourself? Hey, my name is Kiryu. <laughs> hey, my name's Kiryu. I'm a four digit Osu player, and I might be the worst player in the round table. But it's okay, because big things come in small packages. <laughs> Despite his shortcomings, he was able to make a pretty good run in the Battle Royale part of the tournament. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. Oh, but we're getting to the last part of the match. Patches a couple of players, Emla, Fire Ridge, Carry you, Trail Mix, then follows up with a break. As we're coming to the final few seconds of the map, big jumps, big jumps, Fiery breaks, Trail Mix breaks, and it's over. But does have the largest combo out of the three folks. That is true. Karyu is in the prime position to bring it back, but he needs to Fire hold on. Me. He needs the big on Emma and Fiery breaking. And, and they both Fire break! Is the Karyu one is in the prime position to come back. Oh! Break. That God. was... No! Ah! Everyone, dude, breaks across the board. There's, there's this is going to be so everywhere. close. Karyu Fiery? Fiery is going to be so incredibly close. It's going to be so close. Karyu so pass! Karyu pass! Karyu 
Goodbye. Oh my god, it's going to be accuracy. Who just won? Who just won? It was a matter of accuracy. 34, 35. Oh, that Carrie, is you won. so close. Fire is out. Fire out in yeah. I do want to say though, I do want, I just want, I just want to reiterate. Karyu is literally performing out of his mind right now. He, <laughs> he really is, is. Dude, he is literally performing <laughs> along with some of the best players in the yep. entire world. Everyone doubted him, but he is here to make a name Luckily, of himself. himself. And Law breaks. Oh my goodness. That might have been it. As there's, a, yep. there's only a handful of seconds That's remaining. That's all it takes. Just one unfortunate break. Not even on a tough section. Just, it happens. It's all about the consistency, man. Carry you, that was just an incredible run here in this lobby. Please tell me anything. Um, I'm not a top player, but honestly, I mean, false. I mean, honestly, I did way better than I thought. Other than that, Carry you didn't get any notable placement. He placed dead last in the 1v1 section of the tournament because he had to face Emrek. It's like killing the Ender Dragon with no beds, no armor, no weapon. But your fist. <laughs> Although he did take a point off him. The most important thing he was able to take out of the tournament, however, was inspiration. Being able to meet some of the best players and see them compete at such a phenomenal level in person did wonders for his motivation to play. Oh, what? No! So as soon as he got home from LA, he loaded up Osu and started to fire away at maps that he could only dream of FCing as a kid. Holy shit. Goo Goo Gaga. Goo Goo Gaga. Goo Goo Gaga. The baby! Where's the mind block? It ain't here. It ain't here, baby! You go! No, no, you, you cannot make this up! Bitch, I'm not straight, I'm heterosexual! Woo! When September came around, Kiryu left his home to experience adulting and independence, something he had felt devoid of since he had paused his education. He moved in with a few friends, which, funnily enough, he had met through Osu. As time passed, Kiryu played Osu a little bit less every day. He was still improving, setting many more 600s and even a 700 PP play. No! Never mind. But all things considered, Kiryu was losing interest in grinding. He even quit full area just to see if it would spark an interest in him to relearn the game. Maybe it was the feeling of burnout or the feeling that he had accomplished what he had wanted in the game. Whatever it was, one thing remains true. Osu would forever remain in his heart. See you next time. Oh, finally I could stop talking in third person, man. Alright, Kerry really needs to take a shit.